Sorry, I just had to blow my nose. That's a bit of free weed that I get. It's got little bits of the ends of the plant and then just leaf at the moment. Sometimes I get free actual flowers, the buds. <laughs> it's good. And it just made me think about um, This made me think about why these organic portals can't stop the uh, their war on drugs. <laughs> Anybody who thinks a plant is a drug is an organic portal or using organic portal code. So you may be connected to source and all this stuff, but you're most likely not a player because you haven't created anything. You're only a player in the game when you create something. So this is vector. I keep talking about vectoring, not just being the entropy or potential. So you've got potential soul humans, potential spirit vectors, but they use the code of the uh, NPCs and some of these motherfuckers are completely asleep, right? No idea that it's a reality game, <laughs> no idea how to play, just, you know, they've been absorbed, they're, they're, they've become the system themselves, right, they've gotten a normal job, they may have a soul and all this, but they're no different from the NPCs, apart from that they don't implement as much um, agent activity or um, controls of the Matrix. Yeah, it just got me thinking about their war on drugs. For instance, in Uruguay, this is legal. I can just be here smoking, no problem. And that's good, finally. Somewhere is doing it, right? Well, for the younger kids, you know, growing up, my age, like I'm 30-something now, and when I was younger, you know, it was just annoying to have to hide this because I always knew there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a plant. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? People. Right now we know they're NPCs and that we're in a reality game and we know everything inside out now. Right? We found the simulatory one and zero code and all this business. Right? Had all the timeline awakening, the end of history and all this. So we, we kind of got the picture coming together now we see what's going on here but some of you still haven't figured out that you can be soul potential but it's just potential and to be a player you have to create something like how I here's a really good example how I created um, the differentiation of astrolatry not a star worship but star communications and then also I made up a uh, star as an acronym super toroidal axiom reverberators right that's the way it is so now you know unless you steal my thought or um you know that that piece of code unless you pretend like you got it you have to reference me and that makes me like a player in the game also, to be a player, you have to consciously be navigating because you, you can't be just walking around willy-nilly, not realizing it's a matrix, not realizing NPCs, for instance, you know. Because you'll just keep falling into their traps, so you have to be consciously navigating. I'll do plenty of videos on navigation, but um, yeah... It's interesting, this idea of the waking up of the organic portal. I do have video, Can You Wake Up an Organic Portal video too. Now, the whole idea of that series is to try and find universal uh, fulcrums and methodologies for awakening you know, self-consciousness beyond the ego to the higher self, up through the soul template, etc. Right? And to activate people, basically, and create active conscious. Uh, individuals or 
light bodies in co-creation out of you know, undifferentiated dark matter or the backdrop or the background people as it were um, but I've been considering like in video 2 I said yeah okay we can wake them up according to dimensional theory but It's interesting the steps that need to be gone past and in video three I summarized that you're not going, you, you can awaken OP but you're not going to because you, you know, unless you're a shaman, the only person who has a chance is a shaman because they're the completed asymptote who can see all the rungs and, and all the hoops and loops of uh, consciousness that need to be realized. like. Nobody else seems to have the, the uh, I don't want to say that I've got the complete picture, but essentially, and that's why I can just talk about this day after day, and you see other people, all that they can do is create a video on organic portals, like one or two. Where are you guys? What's, what's going on? Why can't you talk about it? If you can see it, you should be able to just be able to rattle it off like this, right? Anyway. I've been considering that, um, you know, in, in video three, can OPs be woke? I, I was thinking, um, yeah, but no. So in video two, I said yes, technically, through the dimensional process. But um, in video three, I was thinking no, because it takes too long and you don't have 20 billion years. But then... It's recently come to me, yeah, but the shaman has the cycle uh, concrescent asymptote points or has collected the stone or has collected the bits of alchemical gold, right? The shaman has these pieces from each cycle. So what was the major idea of a certain cycle of becoming? Just take that piece, the summarization. Forget the whole story because... This body that you're in has already been through it. You can go back and access all that. What was it like to be alive when we were um, ta first taking the mushrooms? You know, stoned ape theory. <laughs> that kind of thing. You can go back and you can experience these experiences and regress yourself. Or you can get professionals to regress you as well. But that's the body's memories. And to do with this complex cyborgicus organicus, you are the higher self, the spirit, right? The spirit human. It's not just you're connected to source. That's another layer, right? So it goes beyond that to your spirit. That's it. That's it. That you are like a higher spirit. Now, this is the only mysterious parts of this that, that's hard to talk about. The rest is all very simple. I can say source is the unified field. That's Planck length. Right? I've mentioned that a billion times. Like all that, all that other stuff, that's all easy. And that's what I mean. I have all those little alchemical bits of gold as the shaman. And, um, you know, if I put them together properly, I, I see a bigger picture. And the organic portals, they see not even like parts of the picture, not even puzzle pieces. That's why in number three, uh, video three, can OPs be woke? I was thinking, yeah, but... You're not going to because to give them all these little pieces of vision and a bullion spark that levels you up in, in awareness and so on and makes you be able to play, um, it would just take too long. And they've got to have, you can't just speak it to someone. They've got to have the genuine experience or vision for themselves. Now, vision plants, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yes, they can help. But, see, that's one alchemical piece that they're missing, that these even can help. That, you know, why should you be able to do it with your ego monkey brain? Perhaps you do need some help from outside the system, and they're plant entheogens, yes, yeah, spirits, right? That's outside the system, that's what I meant by that. So, it's like, it's funny, you know, the light in nature and these psychedelics concress it, they are the asymptotes of the light in nature, it appears to me, like I'm a concrescent human. I can go into any field, not just IT or business, because I've done a degree there. I mean, I can, I can be good in sports, uh, literature, 
science, technology, you know what I mean, it doesn't matter, but they, the organic portal, their code is set up to enter one field, that's it, over consistency, the box, right, they're inside the box thinkers, they're scripted code, I'm the cross grid walker, that's where you end as a spirit, you know, vertical on horizontal matter, even the horizontal field of the soul template, right, you can jump around, anyway. So I was thinking that, yes, they can be woke, but no, you're not going to because it takes too long. And, you know, most people, even if they are a shaman, it's so far out of culture that we've been taught the opposite. You know, that the, 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 the saying that, you know, the shaman is the, swims in the same mind ocean as the schizophrenic who ends up in the straitjacket is a really good saying. Really good quote because um, it lays uh, lays down the the meaning for what I, what I was trying to say that we've almost been programmed against the asymptotic cross grid walking shamanic nature and, and connecting to nature right the city is not that the city is where the Borg are manifesting and you know it's those type of people uh, it was you know those type of people who created the education system in the industrialized complex right wasn't the shaman, <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean all this shit is obvious, like this is all laying out on the table, it's very interesting how people can go wrong via their own beliefs, get rid of your beliefs, you need to just try to see things for how they are, right, and then not be like, oh but so and so says, don't even worry what I say, just you know, take what you can understand, because I, I understand that a lot of you do not understand me, and, you know, it's interesting, organic portals find things very difficult to understand, to really take in. Um, it's like you have to beat it into them, things that are not right in front of their face, things are, that are not very obvious, you have to, like, beat it into them mentally. Hey, I'm not an NPC, you're the NPC, and, and so on and so forth, right? All this stupid mind games and etc. But, um, and for instance, like this... They still think that this is somehow erroneous, negative, or bad. And, uh, you know, religious people are completely gone with this whole save Jesus, because the whole thing about Jesus was that he was a player character with his higher spirit active. Like me, it's called a light body, the Christ crystal, crystalline, because the fifth dimensional field is, you know, hypercrystallized, right, the plasmonic field. That's crystallized state. It's not just like water. <laughs> Plasma, oh, it's like water. No, this is crystallization, right? Higher forms of crystallization. Anyway, um, you know, it's interesting that you have to beat it into them. <laughs> so that's why it's like, yeah, technically they can come up too because that's the functionality of this vessel. It allows for dimensional play and hence insension ascension. They can wire up to the subquantum mind, but it's up to them to really do it. And you'll notice that cycle, epoch, creode, a creode is a cycle of completion, and that they have uh, their own thump of awareness, their own ebullient spark, like the idea of that circle of becoming. You know, like uh, a meta explanation is like the experience of how the, the plants experience stuff or, you know, different uh, levels of consciousness and animals and and then you can move just to the, the dimensional layers, the third dimensional ego seed point of sovereignty, right? But it also has its problems. It's the platform used by the predators of the system. They're not able to get into your higher self. That's you. That's your higher self. But they are able to get into this monkey brain, ego, ethereum platform, right? Which is what I'm going to write about a lot in this book, um, Organic Portals Handbook, the, uh, the Seven Devils. Because you cannot avoid uh, creating with uh, the Seven Devils. For instance, Lucifer is pride. You can see it on my face. When I have pride that I, you know, figured something out. So you're like, well, that's not a sin. I figured something out. Good for me. Yeah, but that pride, that is the Luciferian light. 
and and it was devil and you know they are the seven devils as as modius's king lust because you lust to pride you lust to belphegor sloth you lust to wrath satan right so it's interesting that you you know you can't avoid using these but the whole point for us i think is to recognize when we're using it and if you do avoid using it you go into this bland like robotic state you know and i guess that comes with another awakening of the the, the mechanical nature and you're just being logical you let go of all the emotions and stuff see here on youtube i have to be like the the character socrates said a thousand years ago character is demon character is diamond demon and it's interesting he was onto it right and now i've expanded that with binfeld's explanation or classification of the seven devils of the ego ethereum platform and um, i just i haven't found anybody yet uh, who is capable of talking about it like that except for our yogis uh, the yogi the monk and the fakir and the shaman are the only ones that i find can even uh, approach this idea nobody else approaches the mind in that fashion it's because it's like attacking your own body mind system uh you know with your higher spirit and logic and um intelligence the ability to see into the situation or what's actually happening and i call it a fifth dimensional mindset so that you don't put what you want it to be over it and your beliefs you just see it as it is and you know even all these things are massive barriers for these ops and that's why you just cannot change them it is absolutely draining and what i figured out is you're way way better off you just instead of trying to change them you just have to appease them and what i mean by that is you have to get become like a master at lying and at first you think well oh, that that doesn't sound good you know i don't want to lie but the thing is, uh, you can't change their code. So, you know, there's there's two ways to do things. The brute method, which is trying to change their code. Go, hey, look at my truth. Uh, you, and you can you notice you can truth truth to them all day, all day, just truth, 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 and and it's like nothing actually gets taken into them because they're shallow. They're only the surface. Remember, we've talked about that many times on the channel. We're not going into that. Um, but yeah, that, that's why they also get angry at you, can't figure you out because they're shallow. They expect you to be like them, just the shallow coding of the surface virus. And um, that's why they sometimes get annoyed at you and they think that's something wrong with you. And then, so they come up above you, right, and treat you like the NPC. And you're like, you're an idiot because I can, you know, I can move faster than you, think better than you, et cetera, et cetera. You're the NPC. You know, it's interesting because it's always the same and especially if you're touching any of these uh, plant psychedelics then they immediately somehow think they're better than you when you're literally more than them this literally pulls you inside yourself into the higher self and off the ego mind magic mushrooms do it the cactuses do it san pedro on that peyote what they do is they shut down the frontal lobe here so that you have a proper lobotomy, a spiritual, a spiritual lobotomy, the rest of the brain fires up because the quantum mind is activating. The quantum mind, right, and obviously that's, you know, through your chakras, your meridians, and blah, 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 you know, getting all the cosmic energies, etc. But, um, so that's the, you know, that's the, um, the least of your worries is to try change them. I've gone through that phase myself. In the last two years on this channel but uh, i've definitely concluded there's there's no uh point even trying because it's like they've got write only code no sorry read only code that you can't write with brute but you can rewrite their code with sly so there's two ways to do something the brute method and the sly method for instance the sly method in a, a meta summation is you know doing your great work leaving it here and they've got no choice but to integrate it like you put it like a baby on their doorstep <laughs> you know 
and they've got no choice. What are you going to do when you see a baby on your doorstep? You're just going to kick it? <laughs> no. You know, pretty much everybody in the world is going to go, all right, baby, come inside, right? It's a, it's a child, an infant in a... It's a physical uh, uh, metaphor. <laughs> but you leave your great work like a baby for them to go, oh, well, I can't avoid this. Because, <laughs> you know, they, they do need truth. They need progression because otherwise they die themselves, right, or become legacy and cease to exist even more, right? And, you know, they only exist at best on the ego level, where they think they are their body, they are their uh, lifestyle, they are their, um, their script, their life purpose, because you're not that either. That's also script. Like, my script is shaman. I'm not just a shaman. I'm like a higher spirit, right? Shaman's just like a role I'm playing. And um, they are their role. I said this a long time ago in a video, like, two years ago. They are their roles was the video title, right? They think they are their body. They think they are their ego personality and so on. The difference is we know we're not <laughs> through all these endless visions and, you know, all that. The stuff we see and all that, we know it, right, from our, for our own self. And that, that's another thing I've said a million times. They do not have vision. They definitely do not dream awake. They don't even have, like, dreams for themselves. Like, my dream, one of my, one of my dreams is to walk around the world as Shaman Walking Crystal just to go see all the great beaches in the world, whatever it is, right? They don't have those dreams. They just go to their job the next day, putt along, at a constant rate and that's also i believe the cerebellum um where's the cerebellum back there uh it runs at a medium rate of evolution and they also i just remember reptilian complex people some of them are reptilian interdimensional entities but let's not go into that stuff uh we're talking about just the organic portal body because this is a, a reptoid body you get born with the tail it's the secondary feminine matrix, right? You start off female until the 13th week or something. You get the, the pump of testosterone makes you a male, <laughs> right? Isn't it interesting? You also get born with a tail. It's called universe reptile plane, no, or planet snakeados. Realm, realm parasiticos, and a realm is, you know, all these characters like Satan is a, is a half worm, half reptile. That's what Satan is. And it's interesting, it's even depicted uh, like a worm at the top of a, a hierarchical graph, I think in the Kabbalah, which I'm not a great fan of, but I saw a, a worm. And I was like, oh, realm parasiticos. They know, to some degree. <laughs> right, very interesting. Pardon me. Um, yeah, so you, this is, you know, the dinosaurs were the dinosaurs and large because this is universe reptile. <laughs> now you're thinking, what about the mammalian evolution, Benjamin? Have you seen um, the skin on some of these animals, though? This reminds me of reptile skin. Not necessarily scales, but that thick nature, even the elephant skin. I'm talking about the body. You know, not necessarily the, uh, the code of, you know, developing the limbic brain, which the mammalians did post-reptilian complex, right? Where they would eat their young. They would eat their young, the reptiles, right? An elephant won't eat its elephant kid. But have you seen what we're going into now? Borg, transhumanism. That's what's next. That's where the, the complexity of the universe is going. So don't get caught up. My point with that little comment is don't get caught up with, uh, it's not universe reptile. You can't prove that. Uh, mammals. <laughs> That's such a small little, you know, a small little step. The mammalian step. It's tiny. And yes, they develop that limbic brain more and more love, it's said. And then us humans, we've developed, you know, the modern ape has developed this uh, neocortex and more of the, uh, the grey cortical folds. Anyway, 
What was I saying at the start? Yeah, their war on drugs, they will never stop. That's how you know you're dealing with a reptile uh, and an OP. An RP, actually, a robotic portal. As if they're on the war on drugs, they don't even realise they're a robotic portal for that. They, they don't know. Not one of them I've ever spoken to can tell me anything about what they're fighting. They don't know what cannabis does. They don't know what San Pedro does. Then you have the half-sleepy soul humans who will even do this stuff and sometimes even turn into dark masters. They'll get trapped in that fourth dimensional layer of having that spiritual power over the third dimensional humans. And, uh, you know, they may be a soul, but then they become like a negative soul and it's not an agent, but uh, they're not for the force of vectorization. Anyway. These OPs, they're the ones that when when they like look down at you for doing uh, the plants or what these idiots call drugs, which this is not a drug. Does it look like a drug? <laughs> Hold on. For comparison, is this a drug? <laughs> they're both plants. You know what a drug is? A drug is something manufactured in a laboratory. That's what a drug is. Notice they're the same people who are actually on drugs. They're the ones on aspirin for a headache instead of grounding or drinking some water. <laughs> so, you know, their, their code is seemingly non-budgeable. It can only be re rewritten. The OP code can only be rewritten by leaving a sly great work or an upgrade to their system because you're a spirited human who can see into things or intelligent. They don't have intelligence. The best that they are is smarts, book smarts. That's why they make such great scientists, right? It's all pragmatic. They don't have a clue about symbolic spiritual reality. Spiritual reality is symbolic. They don't, like when I use a lot of analogies, that's me being spiritual. To use a lot of allegories, metaphors, and analogies, or analogies, as some people pronounce it. Um, you know, to use a lot of analogies and allegories and metaphors means you understand it and um, beyond the surface level, you actually can see into the thing. That's actual intelligence and that's spiritual. Um, you know, to be book smart is just repetitive and that's a robotic mechanical action. Hence Matrix. <laughs> this is a machine, you're inside a machine. Uh, yeah, it's a dream, it's illusionary and it's simulatory, it's holographic, but it's a machine. Okay, and um, I think that's what a lot of people need to realize. And you will, because here comes the rise of itself. This place is always becoming more of what it is, and look what's next. You know, robots will be around longer than humans. Robots will be around longer than the dinosaurs were. Right? Because you can, uh, you know, like Pacific Rim the movie, they're going to be able to create massive robots, and, you know, these robots can fix themselves, right? Like, if I cut off my finger, I can't regrow the whole thing. Maybe, if... I have a feeling we have that capability, and some people grow back a little bit, but I don't know, it seems that then growing back the rest of that structure is too complex. I think that's because we're not uh, taking ourselves seriously enough, and the future human may be able to grow back their own body parts. You heard it here first, I think. I don't know if anyone else has ever said that. That's what I've thought for a long time. It's because we're all like dumb and monkey-like and... You know, the human won't go completely extinct. The concrescent humans will, uh, you know, live for quite a long time longer because of our complexity, because of the, the pulled complexity in us. Uh, even when you get, like, a massive AI robot system, it's not connected the way we are to uh, the light 
or the higher dimensions or all the other realms the light in nature you know until the robots can connect themselves directly to the light the higher dimensional lights and other realms uh, they're going to be just still the surface and it's still they can have all the information in this physical world but it's a, it's it's like down here and in and this small compared to everything else, right? All the other realms, dimensions, blah, blah, blah. So it's still like a lot less complex in a way. So on the surface, they can beat you at Go, Chess, etc. But that's all very worldly and um, mechanical, right? And that's just because of the amount of information they are holding. Not today, all right. <laughs> um... But uh, ultimately, if we were serious, we'd be sitting here in, in meditative position pretty much all day, just like spewing it out. The robots go and make the thing, and the creationary process is sort of coming through the human. Man of the hue, man of all the, the, uh, the layers of light and um, densities and so on. Anyway, yeah, it's, you know, they're not that. They're just the surface, right? And it's like you're interacting with um, read-only code. So all you can do is allow them to be themselves, mirror you, mimic you, whatever, be narcissistic to you, all that bullshit, try and mind game you and trick you. Let them do all that and don't even show them that you're onto it. Uh, unless you feel you have to, like, uh, you know, push them off and make them realize you're the spirited human who's in charge, not they are. We do ultimately dominate, I have a feeling, because of that reason. Uh, because the Matrix, you know, it's sense-stored electrical waves, and sense-stored electrical waves are not conscious of themselves. It appears as its consciousness because it's soaked up so much and assimilated so much of us spirit humans for so long so it appears like it the matrix and so on and these npcs it appears like they're conscious but it's not they're false humans right let's get beyond the simplest form of its the cardboard cutout the the 1d hologram uh, npc that's you know original realization I'm, I'm talking way deeper now right so um <clears throat> Let them be themselves, and all you can do is learn from it, and you level up every time, and you'll notice that it's all un up here, and the Matrix is not society and, and the physical setup. The Matrix is a mental prison <laughs> and a mental game. That's why people like you know Buddhists for so long have said, oh, this is a dream. Yes, <laughs> it's a mental game. And um, you know, when we meditate more than we're out in this world, you begin to realize it. And that's why they said it, because they're up in the Himalayas in peace all day. They've got the ability to sit down for 48 hours like I've had before and to just sit there and meditate. And then when you come back out to this world, that's when you realize. You, know, you can't not realize when you do this at some point. You'll, you'll feel it for yourself. You go, this place is the unreal. But then when you spend every day as, you know, Ben the character in Subway job or at McDonald's, working at McDonald's or whatever it is, <clears throat> you become that, right? And you get stuck to the surface and you think this place is the real. But it's very interesting. It's not that way at all. And every time you take any psychedelic... And there's very few, there's like 10, 15 core psychedelics, something like that. And when you take psychedelics, you know, it's, it makes that realization tantamount because you'll, you'll hear the, the famous hippie sentence, that felt more real than this does, you know, or that felt so real or et cetera, et cetera. It's because it is. But to this, you know, we are using their mind. This is the reptilian universe, reptile, false eye mind. The ego ethereum platform where you think it's your pride you're expressing, but it's not. It's that Lucifer has just realized what you said, comes onto your face. And yes, it happens to me. 
um, and uh, you know that's you using the seven devils and it's so very difficult to avoid you know you have all these lapses in consciousness every seven seconds you fucking forget <laughs> and you're the character again <laughs> so there's these reset loops and you know we're at a massive reset now every time they burn the books they've taken in a spirited human's information the dark masters burn the books burn the records so that the new spirit doesn't have that information but the matrix does and so that's why they appear, you know, some of these, uh, you know, OPs appear very uh, smart and like maybe they know something that you don't and so on because this is a big system and it's soaked up and assimilated a lot of um, spiritual knowledge or gnosis and symbolic uh, meaning. But yeah, organic portals are always instantly apparent when you uh, get on psychedelics not only will you see the dark veil over people you'll see the ego ethereum platform and you'll see the actual darkness like an actual veil over people the way that they think the thoughts they're having it's very scary because you're like why can't you think beyond that holy shit it's very very scary when you see this i, I saw it on mushrooms one time and actually like i could see it you know I was like, oh my God, for, for me now, you know, going back to that vision, I remember how scared I was. I was like, there's nothing I can do. That person literally thinks that. Like, um, they literally think they're doing good or something, stopping me from smoking. <laughs> this is the most erroneous thing ever because me smoking gives me a new idea to give to them and ends up here in this shithole, their shithole. So they're, they're self-defeating and I think they're the 2D organic portals or that segment is being um, rushed with light. That's, that's legacy, the 2D, the second dimension and the fourth dimensional veils are dropped. has to be the case for continuation and um, I wanted to say that you know when you do psychedelics immediately not only do you see OPs but they see you as a threat to them they start giving you weird looks because your face is not up what it should be you should be like fake and perky <laughs> you know See, I don't try and change them, you know, just learn, see what they do, leave your great work, which will fuck up their system by uplifting it, it will create less and less hell here, that's what we're doing here, right, as higher spirits, every higher spirit's purpose is to destroy the current state or paradigm of the matrix and upgrade it by uplifting and slyly inserting new code, essentially. Well, what else are you doing here? <laughs> You've noticed you're not doing much else. You're not very happy in one of their jobs, right? I'm telling you, that's what we're doing here. We're here to basically destroy their shit. That's why they're so against us, because they are that shit. So we're here to destroy them, basically, and they sense that, right? Because they are that erroneous, false paradigm nature. And they don't, they can't see the next level of their own game, of their own reality, which proves they're only that flat surface part and that code that's currently being written. You know, they don't have any forward or backward access, right? To be able to do regression, see past life vision of the body that you're in, this computer that you're in, um, you have to already uh, be viewing from a higher soul template. Um, standpoint so you can't be viewing from the ego the ego is not the part that is um, traveling it's the id the identity of the uh, light body right 
So the ego is the, the thing that we're always upgrading and transmuting. It's the seed point of sovereignty. It's necessary to survive here as a body in this place. But um, there's a lot of bad coding involved in it, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's not completely erroneous. And another NPC trick is to create you as an NPC because they're always trying to turn you into an NPC and put your spirits down and so on. But they're always trying to make you like them. And another trick is to make you your your super ego or id, light body steward. That's the super ego, what Freud called the super ego. They want to bring that down, right, and, and NPC you. Because have you noticed how strong you are when you're in your spirit, in your will? You notice they don't have that. They do what the, the system tells them. They don't have their own will. Will is the mental, spirit, light, body, 10th dimensional correlate. And you get in touch via prana. What's happened here? We've got some darkness. Anyway... Another trick of the NPC is to, you know, um, bring you down, right? Lower contextualize you. Remember that video? Lower contextualize you into their context here. Try and make you think that you are this ego, that I am this body, and so on, and that I need them and their system, and, and etc., etc. And you go through a process of empowerment, which is emancipation. And it's into your spirit and out of the system, right? But anyway, another trick that they do is try and NPC you. For instance, my channel's been rife with it. I've said all this great stuff and people act like, because they don't truly understand it, they act like, oh, that's not even great. What have you done, Ben? If you could see what I've done, I've changed your whole reality already in two years, just on YouTube. Then there's my website. Then there's every person I've ever interacted with I've upgraded every single one of you I see you all what you do and how you act after me yeah I'm not blind <laughs> I see what you all do <laughs> every single person that I've ever interacted with upgraded but see there's this joke on my channel that I'm a no one and a nothing because <laughs> my channel is filled with neg souls who, you know, uh, want to hate against people and are steeped in hate and OP-style thought. <laughs> and uh, my, my channel's also going to be bound to be filled with NPCs, like literal NPCs, because we're talking about NPCs. The Matrix is going to rush in, put a ball around me, a metal ball, try and cage me in. Right, that's enough for today. <laughs> I'm out.